Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here back with another LCS offseason rumor and speculation video. Again, free agency does not start till November 16th. This is all rumor speculation. It's mostly for entertainment purposes, but this is some of the things that are being talked about behind the scenes. Some of the potential, potential being the keyword moves that could happen heading into the 2021 season for League of Legends. Before we get into this one, I just want to mention real quick, we have a $25 RP giveaway going on for Christmas in the description below. It is going to be the first link the channel's been doing great numbers recently you guys have been showing a ton of love and ton of support so i want to give back to you guys and one of you lucky people will be receiving 25 dollars worth of rp or any other kind of gift card or currency or whatever of your choice uh on christmas day as a christmas gift as my way of giving back to you guys and saying thank you because i do appreciate all the uh just love support engagement everything we've been getting on all the new recent videos and just on the channel in general that being said here we go talking about the latest news and rumors today um from leaker zoo on twitter we are talking about the CLG jungle situation. CLG is a team that, again, was once very, very popular. I think they still have a ton of fans in the LCS. They are still really, really hyped. Uh, if they can ever be good, once again, they haven't really been uh, too great of a team uh, the last couple of years. But um, their jungle situation, it looks like Wiggly is out, according to Leaker Zoo. Uh, they have heard that Inori and Babip are names that CLG is pursuing. There's always a chance that those fall flat and run it back with Wiggly. But judging from these trends, it looks like CLG is looking for some youth in the jungle. So Inori, he is a guy that we've seen in the LCS before. We've also seen him in Academy. Um, in the LCS, he's been pretty meh. He's had some very, very good games. He's also had some very not good games. Um... A lot of people have really mixed opinions on him, but people have a lot of a picks, uh, mixed opinions on Wiggly as well. So I don't know. I think Inori would maybe be a slight upgrade over Wiggly. I think he'd be mostly a side grade. Uh, Babip is a guy we've actually seen at Worlds the last two years. He's an Oceanic uh, jungler. He played with Fudge on Team Mammoth. He also played on Legacy Esports this past year. So he has international experience. He's been pretty solid. Um, but also now that Oceanic players are residents in North America, Babip is now a lot more valuable. He is, does not take an import slot. It's much easier to take a risk on some Oceanic players. But one thing, obviously with COVID, Corona, all this stuff going on, it can kind of be hard to bring in international players. I don't know how easy it is to get into the United States. I don't know how easy it is to get a visa and all these different things. So I don't know how easy it would be to get Babbitt. Between Inori and Babbitt, I think Babbitt would be the much more exciting and a uh, hype signing for CLG. Um, I think I would probably at this point rather have either one of these guys over Wiggly, even though I'm not that high on Inori. Um... But that's just because Wiggly, to me, looked really bad. When CLG first signed Wiggly, I was really hyped for him. I, I was excited that a new NA talent was getting a chance. And I thought Wiggly looked really, really good at times. I believe it was two years ago. But last year, Wiggly had some plays. It seemed like every time I watched a CLG game, I was watching Wiggly like Int. He had a lot of crazy tower dives. Um, he was always like down in CS with weird pathing. Um, I don't know. I, I thought Wiggly, I didn't watch every one of CLG's games because especially as CLG started to get bad, they kind of just weren't that interesting of a team to watch, honestly. Um, but from some of the games I saw, there was very many clips where I was just like, wow, I cannot believe Wiggly just did that. What is he doing? What is he thinking? I honestly don't get it. It kind of reminded me of a couple years ago when Aframu was like inting all the time and people were like calling for his head and like really wondering what was going on with him. Aframu kind of bounced back from that pretty well and is honestly not looking that terrible anymore. So maybe, maybe Wiggly can bounce back as well if they want to continue to develop him or if somebody else wants to take a chance on him. Um, but I'm not surprised CLG is ready to move on. And honestly, I think Inori and Babbitt would both be upgrades. So I think it if you are a CLG fan, I think you should be really excited about this news. Um, obviously, these aren't two huge name junglers. It's nothing to get overly excited about. It's not like they're getting some superstar jungler. But I think Babbitt could turn into a very, very solid jungler in North America. And I think Inori wouldn't be the worst jungler in the LCS. I think he would be an upgrade over Wiggly. And I think the team would be a little bit better for it. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. This is the latest news going on uh, in the LCS, in the offseason rumors, the CLG jungle situation. This is what we have. It appears that Wiggly is going to be kicked and that they're going to be going with one of, of these new faces. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think. Who do you think they should go out of these three junglers? Would you keep Wiggly? Would you go with Inori or would you go with Babip? Uh, I want you guys to decide. I want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. I would love uh, to get some of that feedback. Subscribe to update on the latest content. Again, check out the link in the description below for the giveaway we have going on, and good luck with all that. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.